Hey friends, how's everybody doing? How's everybody enjoying the 100 plus degrees? 104 here in Texas, crazy weather. But uh, one thing I learned in the army, I'm applying it to the projects that I do, is details matter. Details, 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 they matter. Details in question now is the 62C10 cab. Um, and I'm going to talk about the details of it right now. Um, here we go. Okay, now, as I was saying, details matter. I will just film this for a moment. Before I start talking about what we are seeing. Okay, to reiterate, the cab corner is brand new. Um, a previous video I talked about how I had to slice it. Um, let me back up. The This cab corner was, let me find something that I can point with that will not cause the camera to lose focus. And that is this magnetic tool. Okay. As I said in a previous video, this cab corner is a replacement piece, but the replacement piece had a heavier bias to go towards the roof in the replacement material provided versus the previous cap corners from a few years ago, which I had to buy and install in the C20 cab for an example. So on this cab corner, I had to take material off the top of the new donor coupon piece and apply it towards the inside right here. So these are two separate pieces from the same cab corner replacement piece. As anybody knows, aftermarket panels always need some massaging and some tweaking. Let me scoot over to this little tweak right here. This is a replacement piece of metal that I manufactured here because the old one was rotted and corroded and the um, underlying material was also rotted and corroded. So I ground down the rotted and corroded material underneath it and then treated it with Ospo and then a zinc rich primer and then a <coughs> a well through primer and then affixed this piece and then made replicated the lip right here just like it was here and over there. So let me zoom back up here to where I'm working. This rocker panel is 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 bigger, and it's uh, um, how do I say this? The size of this dictates that I'm not going to cut this one up while it's on to tweak and modify. I'm going to tweak and modify the cab corner because I can gain access to the inside to do any small repairs, whereas on the rocker panel I could not. So I chose to make this modification here and it's easier. So you can see I made some slices in the metal, pulled this piece back, bent this out <clears throat> a little bit. Excuse me. <clears throat> I bent these tabs out slightly to replicate the shape and contour of the rocker. As I said earlier, details matter. How many times, now I'm speaking to people that, that do this kind of work all the time, my peers in this small community, 
How many times have you been to car shows and observed clearly ill-fitting panels because the craftsman or the worker did not take the time to align them and then usually they complain to the people, the manufacturers that make this stuff saying they don't fit right. Anytime anybody says that around me, I dismiss them as being frivolous. They don't know what they're talking about. I am grateful that, there's pe that there are people out here that make this stuff brand new. I have no problem tweaking it, modifying it to make it fit and look perfect, which is what I'm doing right now. So, how I'm going to fix this, I'm gonna take a little rod and right here where the magnetic tool is, I'm gonna weld that rod into place and sand it down so it'll be nice and smooth right through here, okay? Also, I'll weld these cracks, these cuts, because you can see how they splayed out when I cut it and then bent it out a little bit. This became wider, so I'll put my little piece of copper back in here, weld that, and then grind it down on the inside so this material is not sticking out, make it nice and smooth, and then bring this coupon back up into place and weld it in place, grind it down from the inside, and then spray it with a primer, spray it with a paint, or then a sealer, and then a paint, and then probably an undercoating type of material when that time comes. So this will be perfect, this will look perfect, and the owner will be happy. Um, this is a detail that doesn't take a lot more time to do. So there are three things that you as um, potential customers, people that might be on the other side of the country that hire somebody to do this kind of work, there are three things to look at. Cost, duration, slash time, and quality. So I try to meet all three of those things, but I usually only hit two. I do excellent work, or at least I strive to do excellent work for a very fair, reasonable price, but I'm not fast. So if you want somebody who's fast, you probably won't get a good price, but you probably definitively will not get probably good quality. So out of those three factors, I choose to be slow. Um, I don't want to be slow, but I just am. It's just the thing, the nature of this beast, the nature of everything else going on in my life. <clears throat> All of my uh, obligations at home, other obligations here, um, and then to society. So, um, you know, helping out, you know, my fellow man. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm staying very busy uh, on these type of things trying to get these projects done. Um, I've realized that I, I usually have too many projects. So I have to whittle them down and choose what I can do when I can do it. So and there's still some more whittling down to do. Um, there's only so many hours in the day and I can't work myself too hard. I have to have balance. You know, I encourage you all to have balance. Have balance in what you do, what you study about. You know, balance in your... Uh, relationships with other people not too much not too little try to achieve the middle ground where nothing extreme will bother you and nothing extreme on this end will bother you you can just kind of maintain it and that's uh, something I try to do um, and I apply that to things I do here in the shop and of course my my professional life, personal life too so anyways folks gonna go back get this done have a good day nice to visit with you be well be happy and uh, make today better than it was yesterday. See ya. Okay, I'm back. And I'll show you what I just did using this copper.
making a nice edge, a nice seam. Grind that down. I'm not done yet, but uh, this is all a process. Even. And I think I'm getting it. Choose.